Hi, after installing the FSL Previewer app, you will be able to have an, uh, a tab. Uh, all the other items are not really required because this tab is what we need to call to open up the, uh, the, the Field Service Lightning Documents Previewer. Okay, so what we would need is to create an, an app extension in the Field Service Mobile settings. This app extension will actually make sure that on your field service app, you will have an extra button to actually open up the Salesforce app to preview the document immediately. So uh, we have to enter that it's of type lightning app. Then we need to say that it's for a, a work order or if the document starts from a uh, service appointment, then of course this has to be service appointment. That's pure uh, uh, field service lightning uh, configuration. Um, and then we have to tell that we want to call this tab in Salesforce. So that's the FSL doc preview tab. Uh, and then we have to provide two parameters to it. This parameter is going to be the record ID. It has to be prefixed with C underscore underscore. And then we can use a variable here. That is actually the uh, ID of the record, in this case, a work order that we want to call. So what Field Service Lightning app will do, it will automatically replace this merge field in the uh, launch value of the, uh, the button. And then we know which record we have to create the document for. Now, it still doesn't know which document to create. Okay, that we can do actually via this setup. So we have our, here our .config ID. Uh, again, it's prefixed with C underscore underscore uh, because this is required for Salesforce, not for uh, PDF Butler, uh, but Salesforce requires that. And then we can have the ID of our .config. So this is a .config ID. And if I would go to um, my .configs and I would say I want to have this ID, And I'm just going to replace that in here. You would see it will lead me to a doc config. And this doc config is the one that I'm going to be used to open up the uh, or call to uh, to generate the documents. OK, so now I have the re uh, registered my uh, my record ID and I have my doc config ID. So that's all I need uh, to have this app extension up and running. So what will happen now if I click the button in my field service lightning app? Uh, for the uh, generation of the service report, then it will actually open up this page in Salesforce in the app directly on this tab and in this, uh, in the app on the laptop or on the, sorry, on the mobile device. It will, it will have uh, these parameters set and it will actually just run this page and you would see the previewer directly in action. So now it's generating the document as we speak, getting all the pictures and making sure the document is uh, shown correctly. So that's the kind of configuration that you have to do. You just have to make sure that there is an, uh, an app extension for Field Service Lightning and that you provide the correct uh, configuration here. And that's uh, that's about it. So good luck.